This is Andromeda Galaxy, which was captured with a 50mm lens. And this is Mount Triglav, the highest peak in Slovenia, also at 50mm. Here's Andromeda again, this time at 200mm. And this is Triglav at 200mm. Now, what would happen if we combined those two scenes? You probably already connected the dots. We are going after a deepscape image tonight. And if you are not familiar with deepscapes, this term is used in astrophotography to describe an image that blends a deep sky object like a galaxy, nebula or a star cluster with landscape. Unlike traditional wide field astrophotography that captures a large portion of the night sky with wide angle lenses, deepscape use a telephoto lens like this 70 to 200 or even tighter focal lengths to frame up distant cosmic objects alongside the elements of Earth. Deepscapes are sometimes seen as fake or unrealistic because they show the night sky in a way our eyes can perceive. A telephoto lens compresses the scene and making deep sky object like Andromeda galaxy appear much larger relative to the landscape. Because of this, deepscape images are not always well accepted on the internet. But uh, tonight I hope we can challenge this perception by removing some of the stigma and breaking down the walls surrounding deepscape photography. Let's take a look at these two images. Both show the same scene, but the first one was taken with a wide-angle lens and the second one with a 200mm telephoto lens. See how the mountain in the background looks way bigger in the telephoto shot? That's because telephoto lens compresses the scene, making background objects appear much larger and closer. But we can be a bit more specific, so let's take a closer look at our scene using my favorite planning app, Planet Pro. This app has one major advantage over others. It can generate 3D terrain. As you can see here, at 16mm, Andromeda and Triglav are barely visible. But when we zoom in to 200mm, both objects appear much larger. And uh, that right there, that is going to be our scene. A little fun fact, just to put things into perspective. If we could see Andromeda with the naked eye as it truly is, it would span an area in the night sky equivalent to six full moons side by side. We can already see some constellations and star clusters. Up there we have Cassiopeia, then we have Pleiades, and behind us, rising behind those trees, there is Orion. And uh, bef before I forget, I think I should mention where we are tonight. I'm quite close to a small town of Bohinska Bistrica. You can actually see the lights down in the valley. Let me bring the exposure up a bit and uh, I hope it won't cause too much uh, light pollution when I'll be shooting towards Triglav which is uh, at this moment exactly in the middle of the frame. Astro darkness is just a few minutes away so let's take a look at the gear. The gear matters so as I already mentioned I'll be using a 70 to 200 lens, this is Tamron G2 and I'll be shooting at 200 mil and f2.8. Body is Astro modified Nikon Z6. When it comes to Andromeda, it does have some great H-alpha regions, but uh, tonight I have only two hours at my disposal, so I'll go fully RGB, no H-alpha filter or anything. 
I'll be tracking with Fornax Light Track Star Tracker and it is uh, plugged in into a power bank because this tracker does not have a built-in battery. So I'll start with the landscape and uh, then I'll move to the sky. Landscape exposures are done. Now I'll go to the video mode. And because I'm quite confident in our plan, I'll move the camera up a bit. Maybe like so. Then I'll loosen up the bottom of my ball head and we will swing around. And hopefully Andromeda will show up in our frame. It will look like a smudge and I think this is it. Now I'll go to the photo shooting mode. I'll increase ISO and uh, decrease the exposure time to 10 seconds and uh, let's take a test shot just to confirm it. I think this is it. Time to start shooting the sky. Things are going great so far and I'm really happy I came here today because my original plan was to go to Mount Porezen. But uh, that mountain is at the moment completely covered with snow and uh, wind was also quite brutal up there today. I could see the snow being blown off from the mountain at least 40-50 meters up in the air. Another great news is I didn't hear any sound uh, from the forest behind me, so that's always wonderful. There it is, exactly above the peak of Mount Triglo. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, located two and a half million light years away. Alignments like this remind me how vast space truly is. Huge doesn't even feel like the right word, because that would imply we could measure it. But the universe, it's beyond scale, beyond comprehension. And here we are, tiny, fleeting, almost nothing in the grand scheme of things. Yet, when I capture an alignment like this, it feels like we are connected to something greater. Like for a moment, the universe is acknowledging us, reminding us that we are a part of it.